Hey, it's me. Um, it's your guys' second day, I believe, and it's my first day of my diet. Um, I actually just went grocery shopping and bought the rest of the food for my diet plan, and I'm getting ready to cook it, so I want to keep you guys in the loop and show you how I do things a little bit. Um, I ate like crap, obviously, because um, I was going to start today, so the past couple days have been like whatever I wanted. Um, but anyway, so I'm excited for this month with you guys. Um, you guys are the first group of challengers that I'm actually going to get a prep with, but um, yeah, so this is the chicken. Um, I buy mine pre-packaged. It's already the fat's already cut off of it. So, and then I just slice it um, down the middle because it makes it thinner and it cooks a lot faster. So I just got my skillets. I got two of them heated up, and then I use ham or zero calorie cooking spray. Put them in there. You guys can't see my skillet, but I'll show you later. Get my chicken cooking. My oven's preheating right now. Um, I do both. I gr use a foreman grill. I use a skillet. I use my oven. It's all good. It all gets the job done. The oven seems to take a little bit longer. Um, so this is kind of how I'm doing it today. I might just use skillets. We will see. All right. So I'm not going to do a full whole, whole food prep. Only because I now work from home all day. Um, so I'm at home and stuff, and I have time to, you know, put my meals together. Um, I used to work, uh, my dad used to live in the country and had horrible internet connections. So every single day I would have to pack my food and go to Panera and work. It was horrible. It was so bad. Um, but now I, I'm at home. Um, yeah, hang on. All right, so I got one thing of chicken done. Sorry, this probably isn't much fun. I just know a lot of you guys are always asking, how do you prep your food? So here it is. Mm -hmm. So I'm 20 weeks out from my first show of the season. I'm doing a show in Vegas, the Jay Cutler Classic. Um, Tarek is going to go with me and do it. That's gonna be fun. Woo. And then I'm going to do a show. Oh, oh. Four weeks later, um, nationals, USA's. Um, hopefully, to earn my pro, pro card. That's what my goal is this season: is to win my pro card. After that, I think I might start doing CrossFit. I'm not somebody that bashes on it. I did it the other, a week, like a week ago weeks ago a week ago and I loved it I absolutely loved it um that's my type of workout everything I do is really high intensity fast paced pretty much just being a badass you know like being in the best shape you could possibly be in um so that's pretty much what CrossFit is it's just pushing yourself but you can't go anymore seeing how long your engine can run pretty awesome all right so my chicken. I am going to season it with. I wish you guys could see my skillet. Um, it's a little better, I guess. I'm going to need some pepper. I don't use salt on my food. I do not use salt on my food. When I'm dieting, I try to get really hard. What hard means is um, a very, 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 when your muscles are pressed to your skin, you don't have much sodium. Um, you can see like all the veins and all your striations. Your muscles just, you look very hard. You're not soft. You have very, ugh, like hard look to you. So, um, cutting a lot of the sodium helps with that. Um, and sodium just isn't good for you, period. So, I mean, it's important to have a little bit of sodium in your diet. But um, I get that from, like, my green beans. Not my green beans. From, like, my eggs, my protein powders. A lot of stuff has sodium in it. I just don't add it. So my chicken is cooking. Um, I guess I will put flank in the oven. Alright, so... Cooking here. Oil. I'm almost out of oil. 
And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I just thin up the corners of my foil. I set my meat right in the middle of it so that my juices don't overflow into the oven, like so. And then, oh. this is what flank steak looks like. It's a very lean red meat. Oh, tired. Let's get back on my espresso kick soon. Blech. I can't believe it's prep. I can't believe I was in off season for six months. Why can you believe it? Like, look at my face. But it flew by. All right, so I got a big old piece of flank. And I'm going to season it with... Um... I'm using hamburger, Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash is salt free. So put that on there. And then some onion and herb. Alright. So that is what that looks like. So I've been putting it in my oven. I'm gonna flip my chicken. I'm hoping to get another cardio in. But we'll see. I have an Advocare biz op at 6.30 tonight. So, gotta get ready for that. There's that. Okay, so I bought an, every prep, beginning of prep, I always go out and buy a ton of new containers, like two bucks. And I throw away all my old ones because by the end of prep, I have missing lids and it's just, it's a mess. It's a little bit of a waste of money, but I figure it's such, it's less stress, it's just so much more organized. So I buy a ton of. So, I, and baggies, I put a lot of food in baggies. It's crucial to set yourself up for success, you guys, because if your food's not pressed and you're running late one morning for work and you just don't have time, you're screwed. So, don't be not prepared. I'm not kidding when I say I buy a lot of containers. I need more, actually. Probably like 40 because I have eight meals a day ish. All right, so like I said, ah, throw most of this stuff away. Um, all I have left in my containers literally is three little things, so I'm gonna keep three little lids. The rest of this is going in the trash. 